Hello, Wilmington. I'm Trippy Congo, president of Wilmington City Council. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge year one of City Council's 108th session. The year 2021 has been overwhelming for so many of us as we battled with COVID-19 and the Omicron variant. During the pandemic, we also endured an increase in gun violence instances that called on City Council to find ways to help the communities and individuals heavily affected by it. Looking back as we entered 2021, there was a significant spike in positive cases, but a COVID-19 vaccine was on the horizon. The extraordinary teamwork put forth by my council colleagues included multiple vaccination events offered throughout our city, which meant that men, women, and children in underserved populations had the opportunity to get vaccinated. In 2021, we joined forces to condemn gun violence and awarded $45,000 in new micro grants to several grassroots agencies working hard to overcome the violence and the impacts from it. We also held several Stop the Violence rallies and we met with numerous organizations and the Wilmington Police Department to discuss violence reduction alternatives. We passed a resolution that identified multiple categories of funding for the $55 million in the American Rescue Plan Act funds that included neighborhood revitalization, reducing gun violence, improving education, increasing access to capital for entrepreneurs, training city residents for employment, and stabilizing the government's financial condition. We launched Wilmington's first disparity study to review the city government's procurement system in order to help make changes in the way the city awards contracts to minority and woman-owned businesses. We came together to donate food, clothing, water, and household items to those living in the homes that were affected by the remnants of Hurricane Ida. We held two One Council community events in an effort to work together to significantly impact our communities. Our first event raised $2,000 towards the purchase of food, masks, hand sanitizers, and other COVID safety related supplies. Our second event supported the 35th annual AIDS Walk Delaware, where over $115,000 was raised to help support the programs of AIDS Delaware and Delaware HIV Consortium. We worked to complete the redistricting process to reflect how local populations have changed over the past 10 years. And we passed a new law that requires city council and its redistricting committee to count incarcerated individuals in the city of Wilmington as residents of their last known addresses when new legislative district lines are drawn for redistricting purposes. Our first year spoke to council's commitment to serve our constituents. I look forward to even more collaborative and productive work in the years ahead. To receive more details on Council's 2021 Year in Review, please visit our website at WilmingtonCityCouncil.com and please subscribe to our newsletter. As always, I appreciate and welcome your feedback. You can reach me and all other City Council members by calling our City Council office at 302-576-2140 or by visiting WilmingtonCityCouncil.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Wilmington, and have a great week.